Duarte, and here he is delivering his first Major League pitch. It is a fastball at 97 miles an hour for a college strike. Games, first batter ever to face Hunter Brown. And that's a firm fastball at 98. Dotted 98 at the top of the zone. What next? There's that slider I keep I kept here. Oh, he could have. Yes, he did. He as far as the reports are concerned, but it's fun to watch the Brown family enjoy that one. I mean, it got a green light on our on this at bat. Fouls one away. And now, 98 up. And Seager. Of Hunter Brown. Jose Altuve and Yuli Gurriel. Martin Maldonado catching Hunter Brown, who has struck out Marcus Simeon and strikeouts. Striking out Simeon and Seeger to start this game. Nathaniel Lowe hits one to deep center field. Back goes Chaz McCormick. A 1 2 3 inning. Pitch. Let's find a way to use it, get it consistent, and that's what he did during spring training. Used it all year this year. Felt really brilliant in the first inning. Nine pitches needed with two strikeouts and a flyout. This ball rocketed over his head. And Jose Altuve is there. Scary moment for Hunter Brown as a baseball savant stat cast leaderboard. Here's Jonah Heim. The fastest slider on average is thrown by Jacob DeGrom, and he throws. Welcome to the show. What do you think Marcus Simeon and Corey Seager are saying to the rest of the guys? Quickly ahead, 0 and 2 as Heim grounds one foul. Corey Seager to start the game. Heim fouls off that fastball. And if you don't get it, we could get that curveball of the 94 mile an hour slider. But that's a good fastball. Pump and On the ground, Yuli is going to take it himself. Hunter was covering if he needed him, but Yuli said. Sure, Justin's on the, on the railing down there watching this game and realizing this young man has a big arm. Currently on the injured list, Justin Verlander. Hunter Brown was talking to those two chatted for a little while. Thanks to Dusty hooking up Hunter Brown with his idol. Now here they are wearing. One and two on Tavares, and that one's down and in, two and two. Swing and a miss. Baldonado will have to make the toss down to first, which he does. Work in, hopefully, when his time is up off the IL, which will be next week. He'll be close. Man who idolized Justin Verlander growing up on the mound for his first major league start in Hunter Brown. It's that pitch go. Eerily similar. Good job. One week ago. Always wanted to be Justin Verlander. Now here he is. Got to be so cool for Brown to be on any major league team. But if he had Motor City on the mound that he watched Justin Verlander pitch on for so long. Calhoun goes down. Four strikeouts. Of He's living his dream. What more could a mom want? And then I'll do a great start. What do you I think know. that first strikeout that he got? A sigh of relief. Yeah. And then uh, one. I know, everybody. Zinning already. No, I love that. Just the whole family does. Yeah. You had told me that Hunter maybe thought of. <laughs> what was it about Hunter that made you think he's really got it? He's got something special and could get to this. Oh, but we're all pretty competitive. Yeah, yeah. the whole family. Don't come over around cards. <laughs> that is good to know. Well, again, congratulations Thank to you. this entire row. Started to have a couple of flashbacks going, wait a minute. <laughs> Menace on the mound. So Hunter's dad named Kevin. There goes the runner Thompson. He's never been thrown out until now. The person he is, uh, we're all big fans of Hunter. We know this stuff's exciting, um, what he's capable of doing on the mound, but he was, he was a dear friend to a lot of these guys and, and, and definitely one of my favorites having a got to him. It was, he was so humble all year. He stayed stayed on task and was present. He was a pillar of our team. This is this is it. You're going. So um, it got emotional for him. Almost, emo oh, almost emotional for me. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like, like, like you see the guys here, like, that says everything out things in the minor leagues. And over the last year and a half, it, it really got there. So... 
it's interesting because we know his luck the rest of the way. We're obviously going to be watching you guys and see what you do to finish up the season. And yeah, have fun the rest of the game. This has got to be kind of strange for you to be in the ball. It is. I'm glad to be here. It's it, you know, there's not many one out. Great to see Mickey there along with other teammates and Astros going aggressive early, bringing the infield in here. So if I have to have a quick bat to get something to the outfield. That slider is consistent at 93-94. Is he going already? Just like his son. That one's fouled back. We mentioned when Bregman was on first base. Now an hour. This one sharply hit, but gloved by Yuli. And with the infield in, the runner stays at third. That's a big out for Hunter. That's with two outs and a runner on third. And a foul. 0-1. Other guys, but how about Mickey's story? I think it's great that you're able to interview him during a make that's hit sharply, but at Alex Bregman and Hunter Brown works around and heard from his mother Kim. We heard from his triple A manager Mickey Story. We saw his father Kevin Brown, not the guy who has tormented. Blood. He's averaging 96.9 miles an hour on that fastball today. See pitch coming in there at 95, but he looks steady. That delivery is very repeatable, and he's been around the zone. He's given up a lot of ground balls, I feel like, in this game. And just look. Fly ball out tonight was that deep fly ball by Nathaniel Lowe in the first inning. He's had seven ground outs and four strike. On Rock played Sugarland. That was back on April the 12th. We mentioned Bubba Thompson was in the lineup. A couple of team pitches, the highest single inning total so far spikes that slider it's three the level and understand what his stuff can do just off the end of the bat on the curveball to stay in state this is a ground ball right side Altuve cuts in front of Pena and makes the strong throw another said he could have been a Red shirt walk on at Eastern Michigan, but probably would have had to 2019 out of Division II Wayne State. They knew him as a fastball slider. And so the Astros drafting this guy in the fifth round didn't even know about that weapon right there. That they probably broke the reps. So they're judging all these pitches, and they said that he's going to be that 90, you know, 95, 96 mile an hour type pitcher. The slide making his debut tonight. There's a strike. Hit hard. I get him. They have clipped the shake much all game. What's he want at 3 2? The hook, and he left it up. First major league walk up. Tried to hold up. Fastball gets him for a strike. Going. Might have a lot of former teammates. Texting him during the next during the major leagues in his first major league start. Ground ball right side. Altuve can't quite make the play just beyond his reach. As Duran punches one past Altuve. Now two out walk followed by a single. And Thompson sends one down the third baseline just foul. Jim Wolf had to get out. It's that call on the outside edge. Bounces that next curve. It's one and two. Third pitch of the fifth inning. And he'll make another pitch as Thompson fouls this one away. Your pitcher. So he watched baseball in Arlington on Tuesday and Wednesday after making his debut tonight. Two and two. That's down, and after getting ahead of Bubba Thompson, 0-2. The count goes. He got him. Hunter Brown strikes out. Play saw at the very bottom there. Still have some work to do on overall. But since they've been in the same division, flip. Years or so as Marcus Simeon leads things off. This will be a very important inning for Hunter Brown. League level. That ball into center field, going back on it and having room is Chaz McCormick, who puts it away for the first out of the six. 25 pitches. 
That one's on the ground. Jose Altuve will charge. Corey Seager retired on one pitch. Command because you're so amped, but he has been in very good control. For strikes so far. It's sharp play, but Pena's there. That's a quick inning for Hunter Brown.